In this video, we'll go over the basic setup of Fusion 360 and making a, a quick small part using a few extrusions. Make sure that you've logged in and once you do, you can check all your settings just by going up to here where your name is and then selecting preferences. These should be computer specific preferences. We mostly want to check default model orientation as Z up and you're welcome to change your pan and zoom and orbit shortcuts and how you maneuver the mouse. Um, I'm using the inventor setup right now. Also on the left side, design, manufacture, you can change your default inches here. That's all we really need to worry about to get started. Hit OK. Make sure your view cube on the top right has the blue Z going up and the X coming in this direction. The first thing that we're going to do to get started in our parts is right click our unsaved and hit new component. Always make a new component, that way those are separate from the document level tree, and that way the browser is organized really nicely. For our first part, we're gonna make a sketch. So let's hit Create Sketch. This is just a 2D element. We can select our XY plane here, or we can drop down on the Origin tab and click XY. Now we know we're drawing on the XY. We're looking at this from the top down, so it's like looking at a piece of paper on a desk. Our first sketch, we're going to draw in space. So we're just gonna use the line tool to draw our basic shape. We're gonna be making this part right here. So in order to get started, we're going to draw a line or L and we're just gonna draw our rough shape here and make sure it's a closed object. All right, I know my measurements, so I'm gonna use the D command or dimension. I know that this is 2.5 and I know that this is 2.5. I also know that this is 0.75 and this is 0.75. I'm not fully constrained, but I do have a lot of perpendicular corners, which is great. I told it to do that. This is a vertical piece, so anything perpendicular should be perfectly horizontal and vertical. The last thing we need to do to constrain this, see how it's blue, unconstrained? We need to coincident it to a point. So we'll click coincident, we'll click that corner, and we'll put it right on the origin. It's now turned black, meaning everything about this drawing is complete and fully constrained. I'll finish my sketch. I'll hit E on the keyboard or extrude, and I need to extrude this a certain dimension, and I'll extrude this 2.5. Again, I'm working in inches. I have my first part, and I can move my mouse by using my keyboard shortcuts, or you can move your view cube around. I'm going to create a second sketch. And my second sketch here is going to be on this top face. So I can actually select this face right here. What I'd like to do is draw another L, just like I did before. And this one is also gonna have the same dimensions, but for practice, we'll put them all in there. So I'll use D on the keyboard. I'll dimension this at 2.5. I'll dimension this at 2.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. I'll go up to the top, find my coincident, and I'm gonna coincident this point to that point. So now I've roughly built my geometry. I'll finish my sketch. I will press E on the keyboard for extrude select my closed sketch and I would like that to be the same height which is 2.5. Notice how my part grew in positive space in the positive Z. So in order to flip that we can type negative 2.5 so it's going in the other direction. I want to join my two parts together so as I work through my list make sure I click join. Hit OK and now the majority of my part is complete. From here, I want to orient my part 
to do a few more operations. The first one I'm going to do is just create a hole. So in order to create a hole, I'll make a sketch on this face. And for this hole, I'll type C for circle. And I'm just going to place it anywhere. I'll use the D command again to dimension. My hole is going to be 0.75 in diameter. It's going to be from this point to the edge. It's going to be 1.25 inches. And then from the outer edge to that center is going to be 0.75. Once I've located my hole, I can press E, select my circle, and I'm going to move my part around. And I know this hole is always going to go through, so I'm just going to hit all, and it should always cut through my part. I can flip it to make sure that the arrow points the right way, and I've always got a hole, and I'll hit OK. I have now made the hole in my part. I'm going to do one more operation. I'm going to create a new sketch on this face here and I'll use my line tool. I'm going to randomly place my line but I am going to select the edges of my part. First I will dimension one of my distances from this point to the corner and I want that to be one inch. Since I know this is 45 I could make this also one inch but let's do an angle. I'll click this line, this line and now I can type in my degrees. That's fully constrained. I can finish this sketch, hit E on my keyboard, click this part, and now instead of extent, I'm gonna say to object. I'm gonna flip this part and select this face. So now I know I'm only cutting through this part on this side. I'm going to hit OK, and I've now completed my part. I've got two types of extrudes, on my first two, a positive and a negative. I then did an extrude all the way through my part, and then I did an extrude to another face. That should do it for this part and getting you started in basics in Fusion 360. Don't forget to save your document when you're done.